Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 by committee. I'm loading up YouTube right now to read what you, the committee, voted on last episode to give to me, uh, Emperor King Moon Moon Sun the Fourth of Greece, who's wearing such a fancy hat so that he doesn't have to see his empire falling apart. I agree with that. All right then, so let's take a look. Um, so number one, oh, this is an interesting. This is a really good idea. Take every province that touches the Black Sea. So we make the Black Sea our sort of base of power. Obviously, Constantinople does. So this is going to be... I'm going to include uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all 6 of these provinces here. So the coast of Kolkida, the Black Sea, the Sea of Marma, the Gulf of Varna, the coast of Tarida, and the Sea of Azov. There, in modern day times, this whole area is referred to the Black Sea, not just this small area. So I will take all of these. So that's going to include uh, Ukraine, sort of the Crimea area there. We're going to have to take uh, Wallachia, Bulgaria. We're going to have to take a Trebizond, is it? Yeah, Trebizond and Georgia there. So all the way around this is going to be our base power. That's a really cool idea. Thank you. That's, that's very useful. Now, one of you also pointed out on this episode that Sweden, very large, very scary. Um, more specifically, he has everything that you see there. So he's taken all of Scandinavia, or most of Scandinavia there, half of Norway. Um, obviously Finland as well. Down through, uh, Russia. What is modern day Russia? Uh, down through, down to Ukraine. Down into, all the way down to Wallachia there. Yeah, this is a little bit worrying. And of course, they've taken a little bit of Pomerania and Denmark too. So, we're going to have to be careful of this guy. I'm kind of hoping the Aztecs will knock him on his ass. How many men have the Aztecs got left? They've only got 40,000 men. Like, we could genuinely swing for them again later on. But we'll wait until they've lost just that last little bit of event spawn troops as well. Maybe wait for a rebellion or something. Then I'm absolutely going to take those boys out. Another main focus we have the need to do is the Empire. And I'll put up the goals on screen now so that you guys can see those. Now, another one we've got to add to the list here uh, with 32 upvotes. What a meme. Rename Greece to Lesser Estonia. Right. Okay, then. Um, that's an interesting one. One that I can fulfill immediately. So I like this one. Okay, Greece is now uh, Lesser Estonia. Estonia. And then we've also got the adjective can be uh, Lesser Estonia. Estonian. I don't know if the person is Estonian. Maybe they've just been on holiday there a lot and liked the place. But they've left a lot of comments about Estonia. In fact, I think this was the same person that told me to go and conquest Estonia. Which we still got to do. That's obviously one of our goals. Then Greek Zoroastrian, uh, Han, Byzantine, Empire. All of those good things we have to try and fulfill as well. I reckon we can make the Empire this episode. I genuinely do. So what we need to do is create the Kingdom of Nicaea. Or Nicaea. Or Nicaea. Or however the hell you pronounce it. For 250 gold. So that will be imminent. That, that's in seconds. After that, we've got everything we need. We just need the 500 gold and we control 83% of it because we need... Uh, we, well, it's 80% minimum. We control 83, so obviously we've got that one. Nice. Now, do we have loans taken out? Do I have to pay those off? I think I actually took out a massive loan. Yeah, I owe money loan. It's a huge debt from where we fought the Aztecs. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pay that one off first before we start making kingdoms. Oh, maybe we should become the Empire first. Yeah, you know what? I'll become the Empire first just because it makes us a little bit more imperial, gives us a lot more threat in terms of what we can do in terms of laws, in terms of du jour claims, things like that. Oh, shit. That's Sweden as well. Vulcanoland is right there. Huh. Concerning. It's Gavulkind, but he's a sensible man and has only made a single kingdom-level title despite the fact that he can definitely make others. I wonder if that's the AI being smart. He's also married himself off to the Aztec Emperor's sister. 4D chess there. So he's actually got a uh, he's actually got an only Russian pack with the Aztecs too. No way are they that smart. Holy shit. Wow. Very impressed. Okay then. Um actually I can't see the non pack. Maybe they broke it. Well either way, they could reform it at any time. Damn, that's pretty smart. Okay then. So we've got uh, a lot of things to worry about. We've got to take some land from Tenova there. What's our troop count looking at? 6.1 thousand men. So we don't have to worry about rebellions or anything this early on. Where are my men right now? Greek Greek army? Okay, we've got some on Mallorca. We've got some up in Crimea. We've got some up in... Uh, in Bulgaria. So we don't really care about that too much. Right, okay. Let me clear off some notifications. And then we'll dive into our goals. Right, so I just thought I'd take 30 seconds to tidy up some of the broken mods that we've got. So I fixed better looking garbs and I fixed the advisor slot in the council constantly acting as an empty vote against us. I just straight up got rid of it. Because there are so many mods interacting with one another here that I'm not sure what's actually causing it. The better looking garbs mod seems to have worked to some extent. Um, I, I can't tell if those are two sets of eyes or whether or not he's just wearing makeup. It doesn't matter too much anyway. Look. So we, we're, we're slightly different now. And our wife looks scary. Well, it's definitely working because she's got the lunatic eyes. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It might just be we need to wait a generation or two for it to reset itself. But it won't matter too much. Okay, then. So what's our first goal? Um, we've got to take the Black Sea, haven't we? So that doesn't seem too difficult. Assuming we act 
carefully about how we want to do this. I'm actually going to flip over to business focus just because we seem to be constantly having money problems. Uh, we still want to try and kill our brother so we can take his uh, wife as our concubine. Now let's send gifts to all of these people. Oh my god, speaking of money problems. Just to expedite this plot a little bit. Oh, I thought I'd fix better looking guards, but actually just looking at the next dude in the list, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I followed the instructions uh, exactly to the letter, so I'm not entirely sure what's causing that. Again, it's probably due to the fact that I've got about 50 different mods enabled right now. Nothing particularly complicated. CK2 Plus is the only real, like, overhaul compared to Mythos and Mad World, at least. But, yeah, this is just very strange. So, he's all the way over there. I wonder if we can get to our court. Uh, plot to kidnap 78%. What if we send him a gift and then invite? No, he's still going to just hate us, whatever. Um, oh, he's not even married to... Oh, why are we trying to kill this dude? I'm not sure. Okay, end the plot. Right, do we actually have any other family members uh, who we can take as concubines? Nope. We've only got our sister wife. That is it. Now, what's our airline? Oh, that was incredible. Right, yeah, okay. Right, I'm back up to date now. Sorry. It's probably with switch changing, like, CK2 expansions quite a lot. I have to re-familiarize myself with what we were doing last. So, another thing we want to do is, before we do anything else at all, let's see if we can't find some artifact boys to invite to our court and steal their stuff. Uh, there is one dude, Ford, and he has an iron hand, which is no use because it will be destroyed on his death. Okay, then. We have got the Sword of Muhammad, though, so we can obviously send that off to China whenever they wake up. This is another thing I need to fix at some stage. It's so annoying that we're the only ones who seem to not be able to interact with them. I'll, I'll sort that out for next time. I'll make a mental note. So, what have we got then? Village of Londis, which we need to upgrade. Village of BNM. Yeah, we've got to upgrade our own provinces. Partially another reason why I want to go for the business focus, so that we can actually start working on our provinces, building them up into feudal realms, so that we get more power, more control, more taxes, that type of thing. What is our domain size then, right now? Uh, sorry, not domain size. Our uh, domain troops. 1,244 just to ourselves in our own personal domain. Uh, 12,668. So we're looking at around, you know, 14,000 troops when it's fully reinforced. So we're doing pretty pretty well for ourselves. Now, I'd like to take this province to actually make our borders contiguous there. So this guy is first on my kill list. Plus, we need to take everything he's got going around the Black Sea. Now, we could leave him for last. And fabricate claims all the way up. That might make more sense to me. What about you? Uh, you're a long way from home, pal. Holy shit. Uh, why does he look like that? Are these are these portraits working? Well, she was Ilmenium, which could be right, I suppose. Um, father was a Norseman. <laughs> that seems so broken. I love every episode we loaded and everybody looks entirely different. Our character's not hugely different. He's just got a massive face and a big beard now. Right, so if we declare war on you and Holy War for um, this one here. Armeniashon. Armeniacon. Whatever. Um, we could take him out. 3,000 men. We'd have to be very, very fast. But I feel like we wouldn't get enough war score from that to win. Plus, he would be able to call in a lot of very angry vassals. Are they all his religion, though? I very much doubt it. I can't imagine anybody south of... Even even in Finland. I can't imagine a lot of them outside of Scandinavia are Norse vassals, to be honest. Is it worth the risk? I think we have bigger fish to fry. Like this dude as well. Um, we've got a Canaanite man on our borders. He's a king. He's got a lot of troops. We could just declare war for him and take him out. Holy War for Antioch. Oh, well, that'd be useful. Um, what's he got? He's got Armenia Minor, which would be also pretty nice to grab there. Um, he's Canaanite, which other Canaanite rulers will join him. But other... Hmm, we got Zoroastrians nearby, though. And actually, a lot of his land is Zoroastrian, too. Canaanite isn't that big. So honestly, I feel like we've got the advantage. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. Uh, declare war. Let's go for Armenia Minor and just try expanding out a little bit. Right. And I also need to work on another reason to take the uh, business folks here. To work on our retinues again. Seeing as those guys seem to get decimated just about every episode. Like clockwork. Right, special minor titles granted. Well, let's give out uh, just these very, very quickly. Court eunuch. Have we not written a magnum opus or anything yet? How far away through the... We've got to pick the theology focus yet. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Um, let's finish off those minor titles before I forget. We need a new cardigan. That will do. Uh, I'll push Goop de Ban Salah. There we go. Oh my god, I forgot how many titles there were in this game. Keeping everyone happy, so I can't complain that much. It'd be nice if there was in CK2+. Plus. Hang on, we're playing CK2+. Plus. There's a delegate honorary titles, is there not? Oh, there's begin distribution of titles. So that's the CK2+. Plus thing. You can click that, and it'll automatically generate new battles for you, which is quite nice. Um, whereas the base game, you have to ask your regent or chancellor help for giving out titles, and he'll just generally give them to themselves. So that's a little more of a neutral method of doing that. In the Game of Thrones mod, there's an option to automatically delegate honorary titles, which is very, very useful. Um, obviously because they'll just dish them out to whoever doesn't like you or whoever would be the most beneficial to like you. So kings, dukes, that type of thing. Um, let's spare no expense. 10% chance to gain the trait ambitious. Yes, please. It's going to cost me 77 gold. 
Nothing. Well, we didn't get stressed either, so you know what, that's fine. Okay. If we go team to take back Armenia Minor, we've got a lot of troops there already. That was pretty quick. Bring them down. Now, again, if we could write a Magnum Opus on, I'm thinking the stewardship one just to help. While the realm still needs fully upgrading, while we're going to be declaring a lot of holy wars, getting claims, getting, you know, retinues back up, trade routes. I feel like gold is the most important thing in this empire right now, and it will be for quite a while. Um, eventually, I might go for something like Universal Panacea, which is the Magnum Opus that gives you a little extra health. And there it is, 75 gold, straight gone. A little bit annoying, but that's fine. Right, let's try and cut those boys off. Oh, that was risky. That was really dangerous, but we did it. All right, let's take that out very briefly. Let's try and kill this 5k stack. We're going to get ourselves a lovely free courtier. Um, he's actually pretty good. Yeah, he, he's pretty decent, so I'll keep him around. Right, let's kill the troops. Nice, we got ourselves another prisoner, and I'll send out my paper at once. We kind of sort this one down as well. I'm quite happy to do that. Uh, let's make sure we got the best commanders on here. Uh, Adolf uh, Shilbu, I think is how you pronounce that. And Renshi. Good friend Renshi. <laughs> Esteemed adept son, having spent ample time considering your paper's worth, I've decided it will be added to our library. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And we've done that event. You want to need uh, throughout the five people to endorse it. And we've got apparently all five. Look at that. Nice. And let them celebrate their victory. And we should be good. No, shit. We need one more province. Uh... We good now? What did, should we offer sacrifices? Gain some piety? Yeah, why the fuck not? Alright, there we go. Thank you very much. So it's good to know against the Canaanites, we were actually able to just sweep them out. So we could kill off that ruler and actually obviously grant that land away. Plus we take everything, so including all the temples, are then become our vassals too. Let's find a good guy to give that to. So load filter 1, so by stewardship and grant landed title a Duchy of Armenia Minor. Perfect. It's a good, strong vassal with high stewardship, who is under a standard as he have. He has plenty of children as well, so that's going to remain inherited. That was pretty decent. Alright, um, the King of Cam, which is miles away, wants to marry my daughter. Oh, we've got this dude in Takura. So we've got two do boys on the different sides of the map, wants to marry my daughter. Oh, oh no, wait, hang on. We're Zoroastria and she's mine. I get first dibs on that. Okay, um, put these boys down. We should probably take out the rest of Greece as well. We've got Crete to take out. We've got some of the Isles of Naxos there. Um, Sib Sib Sibrehiot. I don't know what that province is. We'll try and take that one as well. So, roads. Can we just... Oh, I just want to vassalize. Didn't, can't declare war either. Raise army levies. What the hell are they? All right. Um, declare war. Could just tell you war. We could de jure and increase uh, the opinion with this vassal here. He's only got 42 opinions. So I might actually just do that. So, she can call in nearby Hellenic rulers to help her out with that. But I don't think that's ever going to happen, let's be honest. The tradition faction is now happy. So, that was win-win, really. Um, I want you to, obviously, fabricate the next claim along. So, what did we just grab? Um... We got Zamora, which is apparently the Aztec capital. God knows how we've got that. Oh, you know what? I did that so we'd have a cast spell against the Aztecs and I. So we grab that one next. And then, obviously, we'll just move around the Black Sea and try and grab all of these borderlining provinces. That was so fast. This dude is so good at his job. Yes, absolutely. Sun is mastering the art of swordsmanship. So our son, Sun, is uh, mastering something. Uh, uh, wait, we... Oh, we're a f we are novice fighter. I was going to say, hang on a minute. How does that work? Um, right. We'll choose Thrift for our other son. There, our backup son. You can be educated by anyone. I'm actually going to instead educate our daughter so we know she's at least going to turn out half decent. Let me give a diplomacy education. That seems fine. So, Guardian will educate her. That will also give our kids an opinion bonus of one another because they grew up together. Pretty straightforward. And do we have any sisters we can take as a concubine? We've got one, but... Um, I'd quite like to kill you and take your wife, if you don't mind. She's 37. Uh, by the time we actually get around to it, it might be a bit too late. Yeah, alright, never mind. Um... We've got lots of sons. Damn, that last pollination has really changed the game around massively. So he can marry his sister, naturally. Because we are Zoroastrian, we get extra piety for that. Among reasons. Low fertility, but it shouldn't matter too much because this guy is prolific. So that should more than cancel that one out. You two get married. She's 12, he's 8. That's nah, not too much of a, a gap, is it? Oh, we can actually teach them virtues, right? Damn, yeah, definitely. Boom, teach virtue. Um, and he has gained diligent. Holy shit, for free. That's so good. How long till we can teach him another virtue? We need 500 esoteric knowledge. Um, won't take too long. Remind me, I've got to do that as soon as possible. Because that's really, really good. Alright, bring these boys together. Oh, we shouldn't need to bring all those troops, honestly. That was way too many troops. I was waiting for them all to conglomerate, but it's really pointless. Right, there we go. Um, off sacrifices or take prisoners to ransom them off. I need the prisoners at this stage. Sorry, guys. Okay. And that's that one dealt with. Oh, god damn. Just, just disband them all. Okay. Um, we need to take one, two, three. We've got to take these two as well. Those are du jour. Byzantine Empire, aren't they? Oh, they're not. Wow. So do we even have Castus Bella against these guys? No, we don't. Shit. 
Oh, we got raised troops. Hang on, let's try that again. We can holy war them. What religion are they? S a Christian? Wait, Christian? Okay, why not? Yeah, well, absolutely, we'll take those if you don't mind. Sure, so we declare war on this dude. Holy war for Cyprus. That gives us some free moral authority. We declare war on this dude. Holy war for Cyprus, naturally. Um, we declare war on Naxos. And we will do Dejour Claim to make this battle like us a little bit more. So he has 55, so that's fine. And then we'll also take out uh, Crete as well. Dejour Claim. What do we need for that? Oh, we need medium crown authority. Right, can we get that now? Oh, they've actually lowered it, pricks. Oh, I remember. Right, we didn't have a choice but to lower it, did we? Okay, uh, supporters, basically everyone. So we might as well try and pass that now. Okay, let's deal with these two laws. There is a straight cross into Naxos, isn't there? Yeah, there is. All right. So we'll set a rally point in, uh, like, Athens, I guess. Or as it's known now, Marks and Spencer. And we'll get all our troops over there. Except the ransom. Oh, shit. they got 700 men there already. Where the fuck did they come from? A siege and co-op. <laughs> Bamboozled. All right. They've approved limited crown authority, which is a little bit annoying because then we've got to wait another 50 years. Basically, it's going to be our next character, unfortunately, before we can pass that one. We could go for low tribal obligation again. Just to force all these boys to actually pull their weight a little bit. I don't think that's a bad plan. Ooh, don't pass through there then. Uh, sit with a different move route. Go around that way. There we go. All right. Sweet. Okay, you guys go kill those. Nice. And we'll count siege that. Now, this should be a very quick war, I think. In hindsight, what I should be doing... Do you want our son to gain Fussy? Honestly, it's not a bad thing if we're training him in... He's got conscience and Fussy. Fussy, that's going to make him a really good... Thrift character there, so we'll definitely train him in uh, to, to try and make him Midas touched. Right, let's set our boats to go meet up in co op, and then we'll raise the fleet levies as well. Wait, was that the fleet levies? No, it wasn't. You idiot. Right, set that there. Uh, remove this one here. Oh, we have to set one in the castle again, don't we? Remove that one. Right, raise the fleets. So they should be heading over there. That way we can immediately finish this war and head straight over to Crete. Otherwise, we're going to get pretty overwhelmed with wards very quickly here. Not because we're going to lose, but just because it's a lot to keep up with. We destroyed her dragon amulet out of pure spite, I think. There we go. So that's pleased one of our vassals a little bit. And we'll move you guys back over there while we wait for the boats to come over. Oh, nice. We're already head of the thematic society. Sweet. So we don't have to waste our esoteric knowledge now leveling up. What we'll do then, um, we taught our son a virtue. Can we teach him another one or is it just once? Uh, no, he's, he's got a virtue. So it doesn't matter then. We can only give him another one if we've got one that he doesn't have and we don't have any others. If we had like a uh, temperate maybe or patient, that would be good. But obviously we don't. Uh, we'll just save up. Oh, I almost choked then. We'll save it for a magnum opus instead. I'm choking at the thought of uh, wasting my, my esoteric knowledge on a magnum opus and not on my glorious, glorious son. Nice. So just as we were sieging down there, we actually gained the trait just as well. 10% chance, uh, obviously, per siege as we did at the very start of the series, in fact. But that was very, very lucky. Nice. All right then. Um... Try and get him to take trait kind of charitable so we can teach to our son. That might not be a bad idea. Let's do that then. Even though we need the gold, it might be worth it just to make our air better. Yeah, we've definitely not fixed the better looking garbs mod, I would think. Okay, and that is that one done as well. Thank you very much. And we've got to give all of this away. Shit, there's a lot of land here, isn't there? Oh, hang on, that one's feudal. I might keep that one for myself. Oh, they're both feudal. Oh, I might keep both of those for myself. We'll give away some other shit then. Um, Give that away. And we'll give um, this one and this one away. There we go. Nice. We can actually keep them too. Well, that works out really well. They're going to help with our taxes a lot, obviously, when they are... Uh... Wait. Oh, no, wait. That was just that one that was feudal. Okay, we'll give that one away then. Fuck it. Um, so, trying to title here, my friend, you may have... What was it called? Limassol. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Bring these boys back. And we are good. So, we've got two claims on the Black Sea now. Let's continue up there to the next province. This one we can conquer, so we don't have to worry about. Then we'll take this one, this one. This one we can conquer. Crimea we can conquer. We, in fact, might be able to conquer it now if I put the troops down. Let's see what we can do. Because we are within... What is that? One C? Because I think there's just one C between us. I'm not sure whether it counts... Whether it's they have to be on the same C as us or there's one C distant. Let's give it a go. Uh, there's no harm in testing it, is there? Right, Crimea. Let's take a look. Uh, declare war. We can just subjugate them. Or we can holy war them. Now, nearby Slavic rulers would join them. But seeing as all the Slavic rulers have been conquered by... Um, Norse lands. It might not be a bad idea. This is kind of why I want retinues, though, so we can just drop them off and immediately attack. Uh, what about, like, you guys? Oh, my God. He is, uh... He's Baltic. Why is he all the way down at the Black Sea, then? I suppose he's just been displaced by uh, Sweden. And we've got another guy here who's Zoroastri... Oh, he's already mine. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, this guy is Tengri, so we don't want to piss off just about every horde. Uh, we can Holy War. 
Sahelian is the blanket term for the diverse pagan beliefs of the tribes of Sub-Saharan and West Africa. How? How has he got one province there and one province in... <laughs> and one province in Crimea. In, uh, sorry, on the Black Sea. It's in Georgia. I don't understand that. That's so strange. All right. Well, um, I'll keep an eye on things. I'll keep checking them. And then uh, we'll start our conquest. That's right. Inspired by the Julius Nepos series, I'm off to go and steal the Ark of the Covenant. I feel like it's time. Who will join us in this mission? It's this daring task to go and steal the Ark of the Covenant down from uh, Ethiopia. Right, who are we going to say? We're going to say Layla, my marshal, who has 21 marshals, so she would be pretty good. We've got uh, Kalai Laspal, who has 19 marshals, 17 intrigue. Or we could take my friend, who's all round a pretty decent character. You know what? I'm going to take my friend. Let's take an all round good mix, because our character is also all round good mix. So we'll see what we can do with this one. Apparently, we're also going to fight someone before we leave, because why not? That's just what King Moon Moon Sun the Fifth is like. All right, let's head off then. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what's our option here? Shut the gates. Hold a grand debate. Ooh. Now we can get some esoteric knowledge out of that. It's going to cost me some gold, but it's definitely worth it. So let's go for that one. Okay, we are here. Convince some servants to let me in. So between our and our friend's stats there, we must have a high enough diplomacy to make this one worthwhile. So let's convince some servants. A group of peasants have bought a wealthy and influenced merchant to your court, seeking justice against him for deflowering their daughters. Um, he's offering us a bribe. 50 gold. We get revolt risk and tax modifier. In Dongville. Where the fuck is Dongville? Dongville's here. What what tax are we getting from Dongville? 20 gold a year. Uh, and he's offering me 50 gold. And the tax modifier lasts two years. So we would lose... Wait, was it 20 gold a year? Yeah, it is. So we gain 10 gold, but we'd have the revolt risk to look after. Um, Sure. Actually, that's not even... Oh, well, we also lose trade. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't realise we lost the trade. Yeah, no, maybe not. That's not entirely true, because we still get the 50% of the taxes, so we'd have to accumulate the extra 50%, so it definitely wasn't worth it. Watch them before they raise the alarm. Pose the servants, give them poison drinks, or use your hermetic knowledge to create a noxious gas. I've not seen that one before, honestly. Um, I'm going to pose the servant and give them poison drinks with our intrigue and diplomacy stats there. All right. Chip, we weren't as crafty as we thought. The guards drew their swords and approach us. Fight our way out. 47% chance of escaping. Hopefully some money will sway their minds. A 67% chance of escaping. Lose 17 gold. A quick out the window. 60% chance of escaping. That's also got 7% chance of dying. I guess we'll go for this one. We're fine. We got out. 20% chance of getting straight depressed. Damn it. That's that's a real shame. Today, your child, Prince Moon Moon Sun, partakes in Cedra. Oh, so it's this event again. Right. So what do we want to give him then? Um, let's see. How's he coming out? So he's got 13 stewardship. I feel like it's probably best to train him in stewardship. So he's got curious. Oh, he did get curious. He's got Conscientious, Fussy, and Curious. So this kid's going to be incredibly good at uh, basically everything, to be honest with you. But honestly, I think we go for the Stewardship character. Again, we need the money. We, we genuinely need the money at this point to try and convert the whole of the Byzantine Empire, or what's going to be our own uh, Byzantium, into um, Feudal. So we're going to need a shit ton of cash for that. So I'm absolutely going to give you Stewardship if I can. Lose one Intrigue. It doesn't matter too much. Honestly, it really doesn't. Oh, you know what? I've completely forgot. Not only can we write a magnum opus, but we can also brew the potion of eudaimonia. Oh, the, the war ended, by the way. Um, oh, wait. He's in my prison now, isn't he? Hang on. Uh, let's go ahead and... I mean, do we really want to revoke it? He's a traitor, so we could. Uh, honestly, I don't care that much. It was kind of my own fault for trying to imprison these two are. I'm going to send you a gift. Uh, here's 15 gold. I'm going to release you from prison. Or oh, we could just ransom him out. Or wasn't that the whole point of doing this in the first place? Fuck it. <laughs> You know, it would have been worth it to to put him in prison, then ransom him back out. But now I have to try and keep him happy. So it was a gamble that I fucked up. Um, we'll keep him out there then. We could also... Wait, we can teach other people virtues as well? Hmm. Before I do that, let's write our magnum opus. It'll take a great deal of time, but it will be glorious. So I'm going to go for transmutation uh, just to give us that stewardship buff. Definitely worth it. And I know what High Chief Jin Shang of Malorca can do. Wait, Malorca? Oh, we got that to try and get the Aztecs, didn't we? Yep. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Right. Um, of course, I would come. Yep, yep, yep. We do need to get rid of that. I don't really want to brew, 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 brew the potion of Eudaimonia because it will take away some of our esoteric knowledge we could be using to teach our son uh, virtues or our daughter virtues. High Chief Mirio, son the third of Attach's spy master, was found spying in Dongville. Let her rot in jail. Maybe we could ransom her off as well. Um, when, when do I get to choose my Magnum Opus game? There we are. Right. So what we want to go for? Alchemy. 
And then we want to pick uh, Transmutation whenever it's coming back. Let's get it started, and we could potentially lose it. It's 30% chance of losing Depressed after a bout of carousing. This is the second time, so we might get lucky. Nope, still nothing. Fair enough. It's Gambler's Fallacy to assume that because it's the second time, we got a higher chance there. My mistake. Um, I'll help you in any way I can, because that's the type of guy this dude is with his strange, strange hat that I still can't get over. Uh, someone's raiding us. I really couldn't care less about that. Sorry. I will focus on transmutation. So this one gives health. This one gives stewardship. So we'll absolutely go for stewardship to get a little bit more gold. Who can be in prison now? You. Um, I don't know who you are. 100% chance. Fuck it. Welcome to my dungeon. We'll ransom you off later on. Child likes an education focus. My son is going to be the world's great... Wait, brooding? Oh, it's brooding and conscientious. So I thought it was fucking fussy and conscientious. That's me being a fool. Well, he's still going to come out very, very well because he's got intelligence as well. Your eyes are scary because it looks like they're too big for your head. And that's not a racist thing. That's just something I can tell you by looking at her. Uh, I'm going to teach you a virtue. And because we've only got diligent, they're always going to get diligent. Damn, that's broken. Um, I've never really thought of doing it like that before. Hmm, well, that works out pretty well. Okay, sure. Now, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on... Obviously, right now, Magnum Opus. It doesn't actually take that long. It's normally, like, six months, I think. So, we could, with any points we've got left over now, we could brew that potion. Let's wait and see how carousing comes out first. There we go. There it is. Shit, that took no time at all. Was it any good? Uh, probably not. Where is it? Quality three. Okay, so not the best one, but pretty decent. Martial plus one, stewardship plus one, learning plus one. That's fine. Not great, but fine. Uh, could... Would I have preferred the other one? The uh, one that would have given us the health? Yes. Yes, I would. Let's negotiate with Baggy and try and give him... Uh, he wants uh, Lycia. Well, that's really going to annoy this dude uh, because we're selling off his country. But he's going to give me 270 gold. Ooh, yeah. And uh, I've considered your offer. May I suggest a more reasonable sum of 146 gold pieces? Um, all other vassals get minus 15. Oh, shit. What do my vassals think of us right now? Oh, they all like me. Fuck it. Ha! <laughs> Done. And then he's also an adventurer, so he gets 10% levy size. So you know what? In the long run, that's pretty decent. To my new liege, King Moon Moon, son, the fourth and fifth of Lesser Estonia, I've decided to convert to Zoroastrian faith so I my rule my subjects as wisely as you rule yours. Damn. So he's going to be a really good character. Again, he's got that 10% levy size. Oh, sorry, 20% levy size. 3,000 men we can just grab from him whenever we like. That's decent. Right, and he's not under a duchy. Oh, he is under a duchy. Shit. We could give him back to him, but honestly, I kind of like those troops for myself. Yeah, sorry, dude. Um, maybe I can send him some cash. I mean, we got 140 out of it. Send him 32 gold out of the cut, so we're keeping about 90 gold yet. Sure, why not? Oh, and they're also sending me more gold as well. Great, one of the nice guys there. So how far off we off of creating uh, the kingdom of uh, Nikaia? Oh, we can. Boom. Now all we've got to do is save up 500 gold, and we are the emperor. Young son is impressing everybody with his sensible choices. Um, chance of him becoming just, or we can guarantee the trait temperate. Um, that's quite difficult, but temperate would be very, very good for a stewardship child. Just is quite easy to get. All you have to do is siege down a province, and then you get 10% chance of getting it with every siege. Honestly, and also the rulership focus pretty much guarantees it after a few years. I'm going to give him temperate because of the plus two stewardship there. I feel like it's going to come in very, very handy. Look, he's got 16 stewardship at the age of 12. This kid's going to come out so good. Wow, another thing we can do there. We've just, we actually haven't long crossed that. 4,000 prestige. So it's probably when we made the kingdom level title, we can now create a royal bloodline. Because we have 4,000 prestige. So this is obviously going to be taken out of the game. But this mod's going to be pretty useless with the next CK2 patch when that's being... Or the next DLC, Holy Fury. When that's just added to the game by default. You are prestigious. You are well known throughout the realm as a great leader. You've created a prestigious bloodline for both you, your grandchildren, children, and their descendants. You've achieved extreme glory. So that's going to give us a uh, patriarch of the Sun bloodline. Now what's really, really good is that because both of our children have that, when they have children together... Both of those will inherit, so there'll be double line of sun, giving them, you know, four diplomacy, four stewardship, plus 20 vassal opinion. That's going to be insanely good. Now, if we've got to also get the vassal opinion as well. My god, look at this. Everybody loves us now. The fact that two episodes ago, we were in, you know, revolt, tyranny, uh, dying constantly, being assassinated, our family was falling apart. Now we've gone to this. Even after we revoked and sold off vassal titles, we're doing really well. And the artifact collecting is working just as well as always. We've got ourselves a Tang Treatise on Law, giving another plus five vassal opinion. My god. It's really starting to uh, kick off these days. Right, so we want to find uh, more artifacts, obviously. So this is working so, so well. Can't believe I've never implemented this strategy before. Right, join court. Yes. 
And then we basically invite everybody with an artifact. Jesus, there's so many people now because our general opinion is higher. Oh, we're going to get so much from this. Right, I'm going to invite all of these boys. Bear with me. Hey, there we go. So we can demint de de the base. Let's demint the base. 100 more gold. Holy shit, hang on. That's enough. Wait, why is that? What do I need? We've got 500 gold. Hang on. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Wait, what, what the fuck are we missing? Hang on. Um. Yeah, we're lower than emperor. Uh, that's not true. Follow the traditional religion of the Byzantine Empire. Mwah. I can't believe that. Okay, well, we'll have to make an empire from this button then. What do we need for that? A thousand gold, majesty level two. Right, okay. A little bit annoying, but... Damn it, I didn't know we had to be... We could just make the title and convert back. What do we think? We just have to be Christian or, or, or Orthodox specifically? Ortho... Ortho... Orthodox? Um, shit, really? No one? Alright, there's one. All I had to do was buy a favour, which has cost me a little bit of gold. A little bit annoying there. Um, right, so we actually want to marry you, but we can't because we're already married, aren't we? Shit. Wife, I'm sorry, you have to go temporarily. Um... I know, I know. Let's mark her with special interest so we don't lose her. Now, we, can we restrict... Oh, shit, we can't restrict her. Ugh. Okay, we got to be careful that she doesn't get remarried then. Uh, arranged marriage between us and... Where is she? The Christian woman. Uh, there she is. Boom. Marry. Uh, respect wealth for the prestige again. Then we go to title creation. No, no, no. We have to convert to her first. Convert to Chalcedonian. Uh, publicly adopt faith. There we go. Man, I hope this works, otherwise I'm going to be look like a fucking idiot, aren't I? Dutchy, Dutchy. Eastern Roman Empire. Shit, we need 666 gold, you motherfucker. Damn it. Okay, fine. Borrow the additional money. There we go. And then we can go the Latin Empire. Or we can make the Eastern Roman Empire. Ooh, what do we want? Okay, no, definitely the ERE, because that gives us uh, digital claims. Boom. We've done it. Right, and then we go ahead and divorce you, because you're shit. Um, range divorce. 105 gold. Right, you can go. And then what do we want to do? We want to... Oh, Jesus, look at this. Wow. Uh, no, we just want to go ahead and convert back to Zoroastrian. How do we do that? We click on the capital. We right-click here and we click, click secretly convert Zoroastrian. And then we go... Um, personally adopt faith. Why can't I do that? Should we just need piety again? Ugh. Bah. Okay. We're, we're, we're very close to being where we want to be. Now, I'm worried that maybe the title will be destroyed. I don't think it will. But there is a possibility it might be destroyed when we convert back to Zoroastrian. Um, can we get rid of you now? How much gold do we need to get rid of this woman? Um, 101 gold, you prick. Okay, hang on a second. Right, it won't take me very long. We just need to save a little bit more cash. Um, Imperial Revocation? Boom. What did that do for me? Oh, we took back the Bishopric of Constantinople. Sure, why the hell not? Uh, what, what important decisions have we got before we leave? Create... Boom. 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 Create, create some provinces? Uh, sure? <laughs> sure? Oh, wait, that gave me some gold? What did we get gold from? Oh, because we probably revoked and got his gold as well. Do we want to organize the Varangian Guard? Man, this got weird. Okay, why not? I say this got weird, implying it wasn't already. And then we are going to uh, divorce you. Sorry, you were just here so I could get you for your religion. We're going to remarry Gaberge. Um, range marriage, converge to son. There we are. We're, you're back. You're back in your loving husband's arms. Uh, award honorary title. You could be my, my Caesar. <laughs> Princess Moon Moon Gaberge Caesar of the Lesser Estonian Empire. Okay, give me a name to obviously rename the, the, the Estonian Empire to here. As I prayed before the altar, I was suddenly filled with an overwhelming sense of love. Crying with joy, I knew that I was never truly alone. God was always with me. Lose the trait depressed. We gained the trait content. I had to flip over to theology to try and gain... The piety necessary to convert back to Zoroastrianism. I don't know why that's a feature. It's so strange. Alright, so with some sensible donations to charity, we now have enough piety to convert back. So, um... Wait, what? Oh my god, we're an emperor now. Ooh, what you say? Okay, right. I see, we're going to have to convert next episode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments and upvote the ones that you're interested in seeing for next episode. We've got to take out the Black Sea. We have claims on it also. It's not too difficult. We've got to obviously finish off Estonia as well. But we've ticked one of our major goals, which was uh, the Byzantine Empire, or the Eastern Roman Empire, I suppose. We need a name for that as well, so don't forget. Shout out to my insane level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Van Der's, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Spire T, James Ogilvy, Escape, Jackson Whitman, and Tyler Birch for their support. And shout out to 
the sensible tier patrons, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon, Brandon Wintonic, sorry, I fucked up your name then, Necrophilum, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble Esquit, Lachley, Zarevan, Fecundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Joran DeVries, UFT's Dakota 77, Jordan Campbell, Astro Sidini, Joseph Beer, and Chris, thank you all for your support. Don't forget to vote. It's your constitutional duty. And, uh, otherwise, I will throw you into the Black Sea.